Time is critical. Our colonists on Mars need supplies. Without resources, they cannot build the colony. Without resources, they will not survive. A colony has to be established before competing nations claim all the mineral-rich territories, leaving Ufar an impoverished state. The key to success is the space dock. It is the colonists' lifeline. The remote Mongolian steppes are not monitored by spy satellites and should help keep the facility a secret. But we must be ever vigilant. If our adversaries, like the Western European Alliance, learn of the facility, they will most certainly attempt to stop us. Then there's the Eye of God. Their fanaticism endures numerous attempts to thwart them. They cannot see that space is our salvation, not our damnation. Even now they lurk in the desert, waiting for an opportunity to strike at the heart of the space program. If the space dock is destroyed, the colonists won't last long on their own. It must be protected at all costs. Welcome back to Empire Earth. There sure are six minutes remaining. Also, there's a bunch of workers here who will will have to do some some gathering here. So we're gonna gonna do some some wood cutting. Maybe maybe here because we need to gather some resources for our upcoming Mars colony. Now the good thing is that you don't need to. Build one of these here already. So where do I have more workers here? Oh, there's a whole bunch of you here. Okay, you're all going to going to help me out here, and then we're going to take all of you you guys here, and you plus I guess I guess you here as well. You shall form a fancy group here, and then you're going to be accompanied by this. This task force of 
Other well, guys here because you are going to uh, destroy some rebel fortresses. Because otherwise we're going to get harassed throughout the entirety of this mission here. And I really don't like that. So, in fact, you know what? Let's just send all of you over there. Because we've got, we've got some damage to deal here. Okay, so who's unemployed? Nobody actually, that's nice. So let's get one, two, three, four. We're gonna get a bunch of you in here. Whoops, uh, that's not what I want to do, I meant to populate. Get a bunch more of you and you here can please... I think you can actually, you can, you can populate here as well. And then I'm gonna send one more of you in there. And then we can also improve not only not only can we build more no we can build more workers but we can also improve our harvesting rate here. Because you get like a bonus if you have a upgraded yeah there we go. You just get one more then we can build more stuff down there. Okay so let's move out here. We've got stuff to blow up. So as the objectives here say is real base can't be neutral unless the fortresses are destroyed. So they literally mean that. So what you really have to destroy the fortress in the respective rebel base, and then you can. Oh, actually, we have a second one of these here. That's actually quite neat. Okay, so here we have. We found a rebel base. So oh snap! There's some. Um... What the hell? Oh, and oh, that was a hit. Look at that. You're all dead. Now you destroy that, please. And you destroy this here and then blow up the tower here. Ooh, you got... You, those guys got themselves punked really hard. So we're going to destroy the... Actually, you want to destroy you here. So destroying the fortress will destroy the entire base. It will not destroy the units. So we're going to destroy those so they don't arrest us later. If there's any left, which there may or may not be. No, yeah, there's, there's you here left. That's fine. And you here as well, also fine. Let's wait for our artillery to, to hit here. There we go. Then move down here. Whoa, 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 where did that come from? I don't actually know. But now you guys here are dead, that is not good. Because that is our food source here. Okay, you come down here. Yeah, that's that was not ideal for a number of reasons. Sure, we are under attack. By whom, actually? Okay, you here. That's fine. Come over here. Okay, let's just destroy you here. And then we need to make sure that we stop sending guys down there. So you here... To stay here for the time being, or maybe you can build me a settlement close to uh, this forage patch here. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Can I? Whatever, just send you up here. You're gonna, you're gonna be able to do some foraging that there eventually. I'm, I'm sure. Okay, you come down here. Some more fortresses to destroy. I think another one should be down here, so somewhere, somewhere there. Okay, you also come over here. So we can, I guess we're gonna get some food there. I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Oh, snap. That's not really what I want to do here. But okay, they have a lot of... Uh, we need to be a bit more careful here. They have a lot of uh, walkers here. And I do not enjoy that. Because they might actually wipe us out here if we don't watch out. They're really easy to strike our artillery, but we actually need... Need some of you here to survive, if possible. Yeah, that, that'd be great. That'd be fantastic. So here's their, their fortress. Let's actually kill you here. And not get ourselves killed in the meantime. Okay, fine. Destroy the destroy the tower here then. I don't, I don't really care. Get, get, get you over here. And you stay here. Actually, we have quite a lot of tanks left. I thought it was less than, than those here. Okay, you... Come over here. Who's unemployed now? You guys here, that's fine. Build me the stupid settlement here. Can I? Please, just somewhere. Oh, okay, you are here next to the goats. Good enough. Then just give me side on this fortress here, and then we're going to blow it up. 
and you just stay here. Yeah, just just destroy it. That's gonna be good enough. Thankfully, these guys have outdated artillery. Okay, then we can upgrade you here as well by sending a bunch of you in there. Actually, I don't need quite as many. Here we go. But we can send a bunch more of you. Do we have more resources here somewhere? Can send one, two, three, four, five, six Ready, of you sir. over there. Roger. Good, 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 good. Ready, and then sir. just come down here. Actually, we should clear out this base here because it could be that there's more guys left. Yes, like the artillery piece they had there. And they could be dead by now. Yeah, there we go. No, it's not dead. That's fine. Let's keep moving. Of course, one of you here is left as well, but that's that's just how things work. Yeah, these are a bit annoying, but they're they're generally they're not that bad. Get more of guys over here as well, and everything's gonna be just fine. Right, all right. In the meantime, so, yeah, so you want a bunch of guys here because at one point Japan's gonna ask for reinforcements, and if you can't, if you can't deliver those in time, then the Europeans are gonna attack you, and you really don't want that. Are we under attack? Suppose we are, but by what? I don't know. Also, another thing you have to... Oh, there we go. So here's the next enemy fortress. Let's see whether you can get their attention here. Oh, you know what? Let's destroy this tower here. Actually, you know what? Forget about that. Just kill these guys here. Just clean up the right angle. Just come over here. Just build me the settlement here somewhere. I don't really care... Here or where, just do it. Bunch of tanks. But the artillery here is here is helping out. You know we, we don't have that many tanks left, so we really need to be a bit careful here. Yeah? I like how we're shooting like weird plasma ball thingies, but it's still they're still just crash down crash down like regular. Regular uh, like artillery shells. Okay. Come over here. So let's see. Here we have a tower. Let's destroy this one here. Don't think we have time to to just rush in there. That's too risky. Come over here then. They are requesting that we send troops to help fight the Western European Alliance. Have troops report to the deparkation area. Allied ships will pick them up and transport them to the front lines. Way ahead of you. So... There we go. Or is already being done. You destroy that guy, please. And then we're gonna get a bunch more guys over there as well. You just fight your way through here. Acceptable. You can actually join my tanks down here. Possibly kill some artillery on the way, we'll see about that. Also... We also have to clear out the southern forest patch, but we'll get to that. Space 
we'll get to that. Yeah, but what I mean by working space dock is that not only do we need a space dock, but the space dock has to be... I'm not sure at full health, but it has to be at high health. Okay, here we go, fortress. So let's just have our artillery attack that. And ignore these tanks here. If we can. Ooh, this is not so great. Actually, that's a whole bunch of tanks. I do not like that. They might actually wipe out our troops here if we don't watch out. Yeah. Oh man, we destroyed the base nevertheless. Okay, you know what? Maybe we did did manage to pull pull one on the rebels here. So you can come over here now. You built me another settlement here. Anybody else unemployed? No? The root of rebel opposition has been eliminated. There are some reports of scattered order. resistance, but it's Standing unlikely by. to amount to much. There we go. So pull that one off. You uh, maybe just come over here. Oh snap. Uh, you know what? Just ignore those guys. Do we actually have any more forces left here? Don't know, don't care. So let's see. We still have... Well, probably no, now it's not 45 minutes, but we have some time left. So you get me that, please. And I think I should... Yeah. We can probably... Yeah, we think we should upgrade you here. For various reasons. Also, you can send guys down here to build our space dock. All right, all right. Now, what you should know about sending the resources is that you don't need to send the resources in any... They don't need to seed any specific resources. You just need to send resources. And... See anybody? Yeah, you unemployed here. And what did I want to say? Yeah. Come over here because there was some artillery there harassing me earlier. And so you don't need to send any specific resources. It can just be any resources. And you also need more resources afterwards, but they reset the timer. So what that means is that if you, let's say you gather all the resources in half an hour and then send it up, then you have to do the next step just in a short amount of time so that the time does not accumulate, because that's how video games handle that. Can you please die? That'd be great. Just follow this guy here. There we go. Yeah, I think you can just... Oh, hey, you're here. Okay, I didn't see that. Can you actually attack? You what, don't care. You just come over here. You know what? Oh, we can take these guys here. Especially if we're getting in close. I didn't know they were literally like on top of us. But I guess they are. Also, did, did I get the... The upgrades. Yeah, I did get the upgrades. Okay. Just keep moving. Oof. Okay, that, that's a bit better. Settlement here, please. Oh, and of course, we're getting getting attacked here again because that's just that's just how we roll. Could actually upgrade you as well. I think we should probably do that. Especially now that we've we've secured more patches here, we'll also get get more resources from these ones here. There we go. Anybody else employed you here? I guess you could come. Is there actually a, is there a gold patch? There's actually no. There's a, another resource patch here. So here we go. Good, good, goods. So we actually have enough resources, but I'm, I'm going to wait until we have like half an hour or 15 minutes left or whatever, so we don't waste our potential here. So let's let's do this again. There we go. So it's these guys here, they're probably doing long distance halves. Oh, hello. Didn't see that, but okay. 
Let's hope you get yourself destroyed here. Otherwise we're in trouble if they come over here. We'll see. Alright, then we have, so we've got you guys ready to go here. That's nice, nice, nice. So let's get four of you over here. We have a very high pop limit here, I just noticed. For better or worse. So you are doing quite some long distance harvesting here. I don't think we need that. We're just going to build another settlement here. I know there's only so many trees left, but the settlement only costs 100 credits, so it's really not that, that dramatic. Even though a lot of you could actually just move over here, where there's more trees anyway. Okay, okay. Nice, 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 nice. I'm yeah, not sure whether I need really s settlements absolutely everywhere, but anyway. Oh, so that... Ah, you know what? Let's not do that then. Let's send you elsewhere. Let's send you down here first. Okay, we're going to send you down here then. You can hide here. Okay, so you can build Furious Intent. You can build the Sword Guy, okay. I, I guess that's interesting. Can we come over here? Hey, you've got one of you left. I didn't know that. Okay, you can come over here. Then you shouldn't have trouble destroying that one tank. If it's only one tank, if it's multiple tanks, then we might be in trouble. But let's see. Okay, you come down here. I said you... Oh, you just walk straight through here. That's fine with me. I don't really mind. Okay, okay. More of you down there, please. Well, let's see, let's keep an eye on this guy here. So we can actually... Yes, you could upgrade you, but... Not sure that's necessary. Come down here, then you should automatically kind of take the same route those workers would have taken, I assume. Yeah, the, the desert here is not as flat as I think. There's actually quite a lot of mountains, so even though the mini map's kind of difficult to see, you have to move quite around here quite a bit, depending on what spot you want to reach here. Okay. Okay, so where's that tank? Gonna be honest with you here, I, I don't don't care that much, but I do care a little bit. Oh, what the hell? Okay, but that's where did all of you come from? That's a lot of you. I do not like that. You hide here. Okay, thankfully you do have actually some towers here for once. If you could actually fire that'd be fantastic. Build st space dock here and the space dock here. Okay, oh those guys, are, are they on the way to this position here? If so, that, that, would, that would be kind of annoying. If they did that, uh, but let's see. We shall we shall find out at one point. Also, thirty minutes remaining to deliver the resources to our colonists. Naturally, yeah, it's possible that they just this is just going to attack us here. We have gathered the resources required by the colonists. Use the Alliance attribute screens to do dispatch materials to the colony. Resources will be processed in carbon refineries, so the type of resources doesn't matter, only the amount. Yep, lumber equals gold. Yep. It's all the same.
So this is, by the way, is the edge of space, in case you were wondering. I know it looks a bit strange, but that's how it works. If Earth is flat and... So where did those tanks go? I don't even know. I'm not sure whether I care. So we actually have way more than the resources. We have like 10,000 gold and lumber alone. But we want to gather a little bit more. We're probably going to wait until we have like 15 minutes left. Also, there's, there's more guys waiting here already. There's a reason for that. Anybody unemployed? You, you guys here are all are. It's not ideal. Oh, let's see where I can send you. There's like a bunch more trees here, but it's not that many trees. But I wanted to send you somewhere where you're like moderately productive at least. Yes, we're at the edge of the desert, so I shouldn't expect too much regarding trees. Let's see where there's some left here. They, they may, may not be. But even if there's just like a smallish group, that's still gonna be somewhat productive. Even if there's like, like six trees or so. Because they, they take a moment to, to be cut down. No, there's just some right. Oh, actually, there's some here. That's. Yeah, you know what? That's good enough for me. Yeah, that's definitely good enough for me. A little bit further away here, but that's fine. And that settlement's gonna be risen in no time whatsoever. Can you just get me some enter air here? Because, of course, we're gonna get ourselves attacked here. That's just. That's kinda given. get these guys here back. They go with interest. I think we're harvesting on almost all the patches or literally all the patches. Yes, oh hey, a random, random soldier boy here. Was there another patch? I think we might have guys on all patches now. We just need... Yeah, are we? We are, yeah. Where are you actually going? Are you going towards my towers? Maybe you are. Let's see. It's gonna be okay, even though, I'll be honest, maybe I should build a couple of tanks here because we don't... Yes, well, are you are you gonna attack my... They might actually attack my guys here. But where are they going exactly? Course, Alert! Enemy spacecraft are taking up a geosynchronous orbit above our space dock. Is there kill a bunch of guys here? Yeah, and that's why I built that entire air. Let's see, you are undamaged, so I think this should still be fine. But let's repair you here just because. And then let's get... There we go. So this here should be... Alright. minutes remaining to deliver the resources to our colonists yeah there we go so you are down here I didn't know that patch would actually run out but well I guess I guess it does okay have fun getting more more lumber here you I think you just stay here you here should really all get on those trees there we go so yeah, you actually need, one thing I forgot to mention as well, you actually need more resources. You need more than 20,000 in total because you have to pay like a transfer fee as well. So let's see, we're just gonna wait until they announce that we have enough. 
yeah, so more more soldiers here were picked up. They don't actually mention that they need more, so I'm not quite sure why uh, why that is. Maybe they, they just assume we keep like a fresh supply here. But yeah, let's get a couple more guys going there, so we can. Yeah, just in time. But I don't recall getting a message there. Maybe we did get another one that I forgot about. Like, not the first one, but a later one. But, oh well. We'll see. So we have here about... Yeah, we are, like, maybe halfway there, considering fees. Yeah, you, you stay here. We do have to defend the space dock. Just build two. The space dock only costs... The space dock only costs 500 wood. Really not that much. And, yeah, but you have to build it at the edge of the world. Literally. Because that's how, that's how this works. Also, World War II era radar... And an airfield, but no super airfield, but still has a lot of hit points, even without being a super airfield. I guess it's tough, so you don't just destroy an airfield and destroy all the, the units using it as well, so maybe that's why it's a bit tougher. But yeah, uh, the key to this mission, in my opinion, it's not really about the resources so much, but you really, really have to take out these rebel bases. If you do not, they are going to send stuff after you, and you're either going to spend a lot of resources on defense, or they're just going to uh, overrun you. So you just have to know that, that that is the way to go. Hey, we could go for these animals as well if we really wanted to. But why would we? It's not really worth it. I haven't done that since the... Maybe the Greek campaign? Possibly just the tutorial campaign, if you're being honest Alert. here. Enemy spacecraft are taking up a geosynchronous orbit above our space dock. That's acceptable, because we have multiple. And I think you only need one that's undamaged or at least has high health. Let's see which one they attack this time. Yeah, there's just a lot of things you have to know. You kind of have to know where the... They have this weird, like, little, like fish spacecraft. There we go. So we're getting there. I think we may actually have enough resources, but not enough resources with fees. But that's fine. So we're going to spend a little bit of lumber here on repairs, because if you don't do that, the two attacks may actually destroy your first space dock, and then you have to possibly repair the second one anyway. So let's just go with this. There we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, you just get me that lumber. Otherwise, you're doing fine. Yeah, it seems, it seems the first forage patch did just actually just run out. I think it did, but I thought it thought it wouldn't. But evidently, I was wrong there. But it's fine. You have to know about the these troops here. You have to know about the 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 air attacks here. If you know all of that, it's a lot easier. I mean, that goes for all scenarios that they become a bit easier if you have information about the scenarios. But there's some like this here that got considerably easier. Otherwise, this is really not that bad. You actually don't have that many restrictions, but considering how, many, how much in the way of resources you need to send towards the Mars colonists and how limited time is, uh, you really don't want to like upgrade everything. It, it's just it's just not worth it. Maybe I could have upgraded my tanks a bit, but even that is not really a priority. So let's see. Whoops, that's the wrong screen here. Can we actually go for it? Let's see. No, that's not nearly enough, is it? No. But we were getting there. Yes, we just need another 1,000 resources. They're possibly not even that. I'm not quite sure how they're counted, whether if you pass a threshold, it just counts as that milestone, but not beyond that, or whether you have to actually get all the resources. Yeah, I'm not, not quite sure about that. Okay, so a couple of these guys here are not really that productive anymore. But it's fine. We're going to, oh, here, here comes the tanks again. It seems... Are they just walking through here? Because it seems like they're not... Not really bothering much. But you know what? We're going to we're gonna waylay them here. And then... Oh, there's another forge patch here. I did not see that. And we can take out these annoying tanks as well. Again, we did, don't do quite as much damage as I'd hoped we would. But uh, I'll, I'll take it. At least considering that, that they just seem to be on patrol and not even attack moving, it's fine.
Yeah, whatever. Alert! Enemy spacecraft are taking up a geosynchronous orbit above our space dock. There we go. The colonists have received the resources and are now beginning the final phase of construction of the Mars colony. We are on attack. Ufar has gained a foothold on the planet Mars. Our colonists are to be commended for their tireless efforts and continuing bravery in the new frontier. Soon mighty factories will rise above the red landscape, generating plentiful resources for our nation and our people. The Federation has weathered some truly turbulent events, but now that we have established ourselves as an international, indeed an interplanetary power, we can look forward to prosperous times and opportunities as limitless as space itself. Ah, here's the Mars base, actually. So have we won? We didn't get the victory message. There we go. I guess we had to fend off that one attack. Yeah, even though we didn't have to kill these guys here. We could have, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, they actually had... Yeah. Some tanks here left as well. But that's just like one. That doesn't really matter. I think they're just defending the base. I could have cut some more trees here, and there was actually another forage patch here, but I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, this mission here is not that bad. If you know what to do, it might actually turn into the easiest mission in the campaign. And now we've got a foothold on Mars, so let's just see how the story continues next time. Thanks for watching and take care.